Hello, I'm here to present to you my vision for a working grassroots music scene here in Liverpool. It requires representing the artists and people who are out there and also sustaining the artists and people who are out there in order to make it work. You might be wondering, why is this necessary? What's the problem with the current music industry? Why the change? Well, to explain, first we have to define what a grassroots music scene really is. Grassroots is the most basic level of an activity or organization. A music scene is a localized, independent, music-oriented community of bands and their audiences. In a nutshell, this is a community based around supporting and sustaining the artists that are developing their art within it. This requires anybody who cares to have an understanding over what music's out there, what artists are out there, what venues are out there, and what events are out there for them to support. Through their support and love, artists can continue to grow and thrive. Speaking of support, how could you support a grassroots artist these days? Well, number one, you can stream their music. Two, buy their music. Three, buy their merch. Four, buy a gig ticket. And then go to the gig. Over time, these methods have developed into sophisticated systems that are run by different laws and different people in different countries. In reality, these systems are actually just business models in disguise. Because that's what the music industry is, a business. It's not a public resource, and it is not designed for artists that generate low levels of income. In fact, if you go back in time, you'll see the music industry wasn't created for your local busker or to support your local grassroots scene. It was to manage the commercial and financial sensations that were Elvis Presley and the Beatles. That's what started this industry. Since day one, the music industry has used its power to make you spend less time and money on your local scene and more time and money on the global scene which they manufactured. So what does it take to make a living as a grassroots musician here in Liverpool? Well, let's take the government's guideline of £17,000 national living wage. Online, the most popular way to generate money for a grassroots artist is through streaming. On Spotify, to generate £17,000, you would need to stream one song five million times. That's about 29 years of non-stop listening. In the physical world, Concerts are the most popular way to generate money for artists. At the moment, £30 is the average pay for an original show in Liverpool. So an artist would have to play 567 shows in one year just to make that £17,000. Even if for some reason you thought these two numbers were realistic, you have to see this on a city-wide scale. Liverpool has a minimum of 500 active grassroots artists, all trying to make £17,000. To do that online, you would need 2.5 billion streams, which is roughly 6,250 songs per civilian in this city. In the physical world, we have a target of 284,000 gigs in one year, which would mean each of the 50 venues in Liverpool hosting 16 gigs a day, every day, for the whole year. What this clearly illustrates is that using the systems the music industry has given us, Liverpool cannot sustain even 500 grassroots artists, despite there being over 500,000 people who care. However, that's not the only problem, because even if we had infinite time and infinite money to give to our artists, we can't answer simple questions, such as what music's out there, what artists are out there, what venues are out there, and what events are out there. Until we can answer these questions, nobody will know what people and things are out there for them to support. Now I've explained the problems to you, I can explain my solution. It comes in two very simple parts. Number one is represent, and number two is sustain. By represent, I mean pulling together all the information this community needs to keep itself alive. Most of this information already exists. It's been published online. We just need to give it a home so that the globalized industry can't force its way in. My suggestions on ways to answer these four questions are as follows. Number one, in order to know who's out there, you just need a database of names. If there was an official centralized database of which musicians were in Liverpool, that would solve the problem. Number two is possible because the Liverpool Music Database can synchronize with Spotify, meaning if any of our artists releases a new track, it gets automatically added to the Liverpool New Music playlist. Finally, we can see what hundreds of artists are releasing in this city in one place. Number three is a venue map. 
If we had a nice map which clearly showed you where the venues are, it would be a lot easier to know where the venues are. We could also introduce a colour-coded system, which shows you which venues are most at risk, and therefore which ones need your support the most. Just an idea. Number four is a master list of all Liverpool events. We would do that by sucking up information from Facebook, Ticketmaster, C-Tickets and Eventbrite and then putting it all in one place. That way people only have to visit one website rather than five or six just to see what's going on right underneath their noses. You also won't get distracted by events that aren't in your city. Once this scene is better represented, I suddenly expect to see more artists get discovered and more people want to sustain, nurture and encourage them. For this to be possible, we have to make sure artists get paid where music makes you feel. Because that's the value of music. Feeling. Musicians in this city know that it's physically impossible to make a living just off playing gigs. So, so many of them spend hundreds of hours trying to get billions of streams online. However, Liverpool can't generate billions of streams, nor does it have the power to build its own streaming service. For that reason, online is not the place we can solve this problem. We need to shift our focus onto the long neglected live music scene. Let me explain. Just remember your last grassroots music gig that was pure magic. You just want to throw money at the artist. Take my money, so they say. Well, we don't have a culture of throwing coins at artists. In fact, the coins and the hat have gone now. The coins have evolved to a bank card and the hat did nothing. The hat's empty now because it's impossible to throw money at people with a bank card. For that reason, I recommend that we build the hat of the future so that we can start throwing money at people again. To explain, the hat of the future is a contactless card machine that's always set up to a 50p donation. Just tap to donate. What's special though, is you can tap this machine very quickly, multiple times to rack up a donation. In fact, we figured out you could tap this machine 5,000 times in one hour, which generates 2,500 pounds for the artist on stage. I think you can see how this would be a better solution to the ways we currently have to generate the same amount of money. To conclude, the current grassroots music industry does not work. In fact, it's mostly physically impossible. We need to represent the people in our communities and we need to sustain the people in our communities that make this wonderful music possible. I believe if we follow these steps, Liverpool could be the home of one of the best connected and exciting music scenes in the history of humanity.